Hello and welcome to part 10B F to part 10B Redux of my Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer playthrough. Let's get started. And right off the bat, we have a trainer. So you know what that means. Yep, I have a lot of video game music in the background. Hopefully this doesn't get content ID'd. A Statler with Poison Sting. And a miss. Ooh, miss ball. There goes my special attack. Also, that hit pretty hard. Oh my goodness. I think she can actually learn that naturally. It's a pretty hard hitting move. Just not to me because Gloom is poison type. And I miss. That would have been a perfect one shot right there. Pokemon being sent out? Can't really see it behind the camera. Oh, Spearow. Okay. Oh, gosh. A Spearow with Wonder Guard. And Air Cut it? That's a stab. This song isn't loud enough. Yeah, I need a louder song. Fire Emblem will have to will have to be the one to save my bacon here because I need a louder song because the, the last song wasn't loud enough and I hope it doesn't get picked up. What we got? Oh, a protein. Delicious. Pichu. 
Fuck you. I resist that. Although you got a crit. Yanma. Punched a palm in its butt. Darn it, he got me. Don't draw me. He drew me. Now if I don't take him out, he's gonna use that dragon range. Persian. Yeah, I know, the constant adding background music is annoying, I'm sorry, but YouTube is being a butt with content IDs, so... Oh yeah, that's right, there's no bone club, that's gonna hurt. Ow, I flinched. It's actually like 3x damage or 2x damage uh, because Persian using it and it's thrashing. Stab thrash, but not much. Fiero. Perfect. The last Fiero I fought had like what? Wonder Guard? Not the Fiero, I know. I think a wild one had a um, wonder guard or something. Ah, that's not good. Might be dark for her, but it's not dark for me.
a shadow punching Raichu. I gotta remember that the Parasect is not a member of my team, so I don't want to accidentally put it in the front of the party. Another Pichu. A bunch of Pichu. You don't have any one shot moves on you, buddy. I also have a repel turned off from the last episode, so um, I'm not gonna be encountering any wild Pokemon for this run. Pokemon are all beat up. They're beat up, the PP is low. Whoa, almost encountered a Pokemon. What we got? A Max Revive. Awesome. And we got a trainer. This should be the last trainer for the cave, so. By the way, the songs that I'm playing in the background are mixtures of beta and final tunes, so... Floppy over here. Yeah, I know the rain would be just the from the rain. What am I talking about? Oh, it bounced. Anyway, the sunlight is what makes hydro pump weak, but you're bouncing, so uh, I'm gonna have to spend a turn a turn here. Is that useless potion? Here it is. And it missed. Good job. I put my tongue. Bad job.
And we're out of the cave. Ah. I want to avoid that trainer for the time being, but I want to stop at a Pokemon Center. Oh, PB up. Look at me. Ah, that feels good. Before we look at the new Pokemon we have on our team, let me come back over here and grab my Pokemon. Okay, there we go. Now we we'll go over the new Pokemon we have. Okay, new Pokemon we caught from the last episode. Starting here, we have a Croconaw with an adamant nature. Not bad. I always strive for natures like that because I love the adamant nature. It boosts your attack stat while we, while reducing your special attack, which this guy is a pretty proud owner of. Poison point for its ability with the moves. Helping Hand, Arrow Blast, Curse, and Taunt. Don't you be cursed at me. Anyway. Next we have Granbull. Docile Nature. With Lightning Rod for her ability. And the moves Outrage, Swallow, Roleplay, and Snore. Next we have Mudkip. With a Relaxed Nature. Magnet Pole for its ability. With the moves Steel Wing, Grudge, Amnesia and milk drink. Don't ask about milk drink. Please do not. It's a male Pokemon and it knows milk drinks. Don't ask. Do not ask. I, I implore you not to ask. Moving on. We have a bell sprout with a timid nature holding a white herb. Okay. Natural cure for its ability with the moves endeavor, refresh, water spout, and assist. Over here we have a Raticate with a Bashful Nature, Marvel Scale for its ability, with the moves Mega Drain, Ice Punch, Sludge Bomb, and Light Screen. A Licky Tongue, Lax Nature for its ability, plus for its um I, okay I mean Lax Nature. Ah. Anyway, plus for its ability, with the moves Pound, Aurora Beam. Metronome and Poison Powder. Ekans with a bold nature holding a blue flute. Ah, that's a rarity. Magma Armor for her ability with the moves Follow Me, Crunch, Eruption, and Skill Swap. I think she's the last one, right? Yes, yeah, she is. That's kind of cool. I'll take their items. What does that blue flute do? Let's see. A blue glass flute that awakens a sleeping Pokemon. This is basically an infinite awakening. So with that said, I'll put this right above awakening. I'm going to grab this max potion and put it over here under super potion. This ice heal is in a bad spot. Let's put it over here under burn heal. Max revive is going to be under ice heal. My poor sable I missed out on a few levels. Gonna buy up some great balls now. Super Repel.
Oh, my ear's hurting. Ow. 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 Oh, wow. That hurt. Just to be silly, I'm going to fill out this questionnaire. Oh, they don't have the word trouble here. All right. <laughs> How about a different one? <laughs> Don't worry about that phrase. Well, we got more trainers we haven't finished battling yet, so... Go ahead, let the background music continue playing out. Both tackling victory ball. That actually hurt. And a stab pedal dance. Yeah, we don't want that. Get that out of here. <laughs> And it has Zap Cannon and it landed out. Oh no, it's a parafusion. It's a parafusion. This article knows a parafusion. Oh no, we can't have that. I chose the right train and didn't I? Okay, we're just gonna speed this up. There we go. Ooh, side beam.
Oh boy, a scissor and I don't have fire punch anymore. This should also be the last trainer for this area for the time being. This man has hay fever. Hey, fever. Now there's two places I can go. There's two routes I can go to. I can either go that way to Route 8 or I can take the low road and go to Route 12. And you know what? I'm going to explore Route 12. Not because I can completely explore, but because there is some stuff I can pick up here that's, that's rather quick to be picked up. So here we go. What you got? Sad. Thanks for the TM. This is a mad fishing. It's Pokemon Tower. I, I, I can't I can't get down the stairs. Oh, hi, Mark. gonna use a two-turn move. Oh, I still went through. Awesome. Ow. Heh. <laughs> Finished that battle right in time, too. I think I just repeated the same song. My bad. I will. Let it play. <laughs> I 
That sandstorm is useless. I have an ability that stops the effects of um of weather. protect uh you know what there Just checking something. I was thinking maybe f fixing my moves or something, but I guess not. It's fine. I ran into a fisherman. Sorry, I just hate it when they use moves like that. Makes the battle go on too long. There it is. A macho brace. Oh boy, if it has any normal type moves, it'll be able to hurt me now. Yep.
That's a really bad thing to say when you're next to your girlfriend. If I win, I'm gonna propose to Gia. So that so that means that if he loses, she misses out on a proposal? Dang, dude. The heck? A fire blasting Celebi. That's actually kind of scary. As cool as it is, oh my goodness, Mega Kick is better than Mega Punch. Or less accuracy. Hmm. You know what, I've been using Mega Punch more than Mega Kick. And I know it's a one-time only move to be learned, but... Nah, I'm taking out Barrier. Now Clefairy has an Ice-type move. Hope she dumps you. And now we're here with the snow laxes. All right. So as far as we can go. Should I just stay in um? Well, I should have just stayed in the this town, lavender. Can we see how long I've been recording? Forty-three minutes. Good. This is good enough. Oh, I was gonna put the controller down. Um, so this is good enough, all right? Made it pretty far. Finally exited that cave. That cave was indeed lengthy. It took two parts. I have a lot of two-part videos, don't I? Anyway, and we finally made it here to Lavender Town. We explored a bit of Route Twelve. You know, we can explore more of Route Eight in the next episode because we can't really do much with Route Twelve at the moment. And in later parts, we're going to check out Lavender Tower. Ooh, spooky. But anyway. So this is Crisis X2 Light signing off. Hope you guys have a great and glorious day. Like and subscribe to my videos. It really helps me out a lot. You know, help me on the road to 100 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Where we explore, once again, Route 8. See you guys then. Where's my plus? Here it is. Bye-bye. Safe state.